uniform somehow is most likely going to come back to that APFT, your height, weight, and if you can meet those standards. We're losing a large number of soldiers due to the APFT height weight issues and it's affecting our retention. Last training year we had about 156 people that could not pass a PT test that were up for re-enlistment at that time. The culture that we've developed is, you know, sometimes we kind of look the other way on some of this stuff. This is a long-term challenge that we have as a state because for a long time some of the things like APFT height weight, they kind of got pushed away to the side. Well, now we're in the opposite situation. We're not worried about combat as much. We're seeing, you know, funding, things like that, actually, you know, lowering of the force. And one of the first places that units are going to look to is soldiers outside the standards. The taxpayers of this country have spent a lot of money on each individual soldier. And if we just allow them to uh, jump out of the service because they can't meet the standard, we're wasting the taxpayers' money. I think the problem is so, so large. It's like our house is on fire and we're outside mowing the lawn. I mean, you can't just tell a soldier, oh, keep running, and next month we'll test you and see if you pass. We need to attack the problem. We need to get a program in place that can help teach these soldiers the basic skills. So if they take what they're learning here and, and include it in their everyday life, it's going to make a difference and they're going to be able to pass their PT test. We have physical readiness training, the PRT, which Kansas is way behind the curve on. Part of the curriculum here is teaching our students PRT and how to lead the formation. They, act, they don't just stand in formation and let our instructors lead it. They actually have to go up and lead that, that training so that when the, the student goes back to their unit, they have a qualified person that can actually lead that training. Relation up, attention, move. So then we do strength training because a lot of times, you know, lifting weights is kind of fun, but if we get away from fitness, we lose that strength. And then um, the other one is kind of tactical training, training relevant to the battlefield, whether that's buddy intervals to simulate kind of maybe some of the relays or obstacles we might face in battle. We try and, you know, utilize all three of those to give them a broad base so that no matter what, when they leave, they've been exposed to a lot. Some of the challenges they're gonna face when they're at home, we want them to actually go through that here. Going to the grocery store, that's another thing that's gonna be brand new to them. If we don't do that, if we just talk about healthy food and then, you know, send them on their way, they're not really gonna know. But we go to the grocery store together, we do two things, we look at kind of what they were eating in the past, and then, you know, instead of completely overhauling their diet, that's not gonna work, we have to find a plan that's gonna work for that individual. One of my major goals was to uh, learn more about the nutritional side of, of losing weight and maintaining the weight loss. Well, just for like lunch options and stuff like When I'm home, my son always tell me like, Daddy, you know, you look kind of pudgy, you know, you gotta do something about that. We're not really interested in where the soldiers are at the completion of this course. However, our focus is where they're gonna be six months from now, a year from now. Can they be consistent? What are your goals? Not just fitness, like what are your goals for life? We want everyone that leaves here, we want them to leave better. If you wanna be successful at any goal, you have to first believe you can. I jumped at the opportunity when they announced that they had this class. I've been saying for years that I thought something like this needed to exist for Guard Soldiers. This is without a doubt the most impactful course that I've ever been, been to. If you really want to make a change in your life, not only for your military career, but on the civilian side, then this, this is well worth it. My, my son uh, is, is 13, he'll be turning 14 next month. And, uh, he goes, Dad, what, what are you doing? You know, you, you leave early and you talk about PTing for three hours every day in the gym, you know. He goes, so when you're done with this, can we start working out together? Team on three! One, two, three! Team! Team!